everyone, so I'm here with a review today of something that I've pretty much been obsessed with for the past three weeks and they are my new Maybelline Color Elixir lip glosses. If you read my blog, you know that I'm not the hugest fan of lip gloss in general. I usually find that it's more trouble than it's worth. I hate tacky or sticky lip feeling and I don't like thick like, I just don't like the feeling of a lot of lip glosses. The one drugstore lip gloss that I found that I really like is the Revlon Color Burst ones. Um, but I might have a new favorite. So these are like a fusion of lipstick, lip balm, and lip gloss. My friend Katie, who's in Ohio, she works at Rite Aid. And she's like literally the worst influence because every time there's a sale, she texts me and she's like, oh, you gotta go get this. So she told me she had tried these when they first appeared at Rite Aid and was like, go check your store because they're awesome. So I went, the first one I got was this one, which is in Intoxicating Spice. And I'll do a little swatch for you. And I loved it so much that literally the same day I went back to Rite Aid to get another one because I liked it so much. This is Intoxicating Spice. It's a beautiful, like, deep, deep cinnamon color, I would call it. Then the second color I picked up was called Mauve Mystique, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips now. This one is my least favorite of the two just because in in the actual tube, it looks like it's got a good purple hue to it, and it does, but it just doesn't really show up that way on my lips. I really wish that it did more. Um, and this one, it does apply a little bit more sheer than Intoxicating Spice. So I'll share with you the pros and then the cons because there are a couple cons that I'm not too fond of. So the pros are that this doesn't feel tacky, it's not sticky on your lips, and it really hugs your lips so it's not slipping and sliding. The color does last a good while. I think I got maybe like three or four hours before I had to reapply, which is pretty good for a drugstore gloss. And I like it when when I rub my lips together, it feels balm-like. It doesn't feel like I'll never be able to take apart my lips again. Like after I guess it quote unquote sets, it just feels like I'm wearing chapstick basically. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything gloopy or thick. Um, it's a really great consistency so it's not too thin, um, so it applies opaquely but it's not too thick that there's like a presence on your lips. It's just like a really great medium middle way between the lipstick and lip gloss and lip balm scenario. Threesome, menage a trois. The color payoff is pretty great. Like I said, the mauve one is a little bit more sheer, but Intoxicating Spice is really pigmented, um, probably what I would get from a lipstick as well. And I really love the packaging because it looks like lipstick bullets. But then you twist the cap here and there is a slanted, what they call an Angora brush, which I think has to do with um, like the little bristles or the material that it's made out of, but it's basically like a, a doe foot or teardrop applicator. And I really, really like this. It does uh, apply it very evenly. One thing that irks me is that these go for about eight to ten dollars in the drugstore, and I mean you can see they're really tiny. Although they are uh, thicker tubes, these come it with 0.17 of a fluid ounce. And like my Revlon one that I really like is about seven dollars with. 0.2 of an ounce. I was really mad because the week after I bought these, it was a buy one get one half off sale at Rite Aid and I'm like, of course. I would wait for that kind of a sale, like a buy one get one sale for this product because even though it's slowly becoming my favorite lip gloss, um, I still think that $10 is a little bit steep for the amount of product that you're getting. To me, both of my tubes, like, they kind of smell like rubber. <laughs> And it's not overpowering at all and obviously like I can't smell it unless I'm like up against the thing but um, yeah it has like a rubbery smell to it I'm not sure why another thing that's kind of weird is like I can't find any place that lists the ingredients to these online um, because I was trying to figure out what made them feel so moisturizing on the lips but I couldn't find anywhere that the ingredients were listed, which is a little bit shady, Maybelline. But all in all, I'm actually really happy with the way that these perform. I do wish that there was a little bit more product or they were a little bit cheaper. I'm in love with the Intoxicating Spice one and the uh, Mauve Mystique is a great everyday mauve color. If you've tried any other shades, let me know how they performed in the comments below. I'm gonna have up close and personal swatches of these on my blog slash beauty.com as well as one other one that I don't own, but I'm gonna have the swatch up there for you. All right, guys, bye.